Magandang araw mga guro. Narito po ulit si Teacher Nene upang mag-share sa inyo ng isang lesson plan in mathematics. So kung bago lang po kayo sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share para lagi kayong updated sa mga susunod pang video. So let's start. Content standard. Demonstrate understanding of whole number up to 1,000, ordinal numbers up to 20th, 20th, and money up to 100 pesos. Performance standard is able to recognize, represent, compare, and order whole numbers up to 1,000, ordinal numbers up to 20th, and money up to 100 pesos in various form and context. So, for learning competencies, visualizes and represent numbers from 101 to 500 using a variety of materials. M2NSLA-1.1 So, subject matter. Then, next is the learning resources. First is the references. Is the K-12 CG, page 26, Teacher's Guide, Learner's Material. So, for Teacher's Guide, pages 5 to 9. For Learner's Material, pages 5 to 7. And Textbook Pages. Additional Materials from Learning Resource, resource Portal. Other Materials, Pictures. Counters, like bottles, cup, pebbles, sticks, drinking straw, shells, and seeds. Plots long ones cutouts of objects number cards next is the procedure so first is the reviewing previous lesson or representing the new lesson so for the preparatory activities one is drill ask the pupils to orally count numbers from 100 to 150 222 to 253 467 to 500. So, for review, the teacher will prepare a tar papel. Then, ito yung nakalagay, count and write the correct numeral for each illustration. So, yan yung example illustration. And then, for establishing a purpose for the lesson, one is motivation. Using the number cards, the teacher will show numbers 6, 4, and 9. Then, ask the pupils to form three digits number using these numbers. Then, ask what is the biggest and lowest number form. So, these are the example. Yan. So, pwedeng gumamit ng iba pang uh, drawing. Next is presenting example and instances of the new lesson. Uh, presentation. Group activity. Divide the class into, gr into groups. Provide each group with counters such as popsicle sticks or drinking straw. Let the pupils bundle five sets of 100 popsicle sticks. Let the pupils write the number symbol or on their show me board. Then D, discussing new concept. So the teacher will ask how many popsicle do you have? If you add, if you add another one bundled of 100, how many are there? Then, E, continuation of the discussion of new concept. So, ito yung panuto, bilangin ng mga nakalarawang bagay at isulat ang katumbas na bilang nito sa iyong papel. So, yan yung mga sasagutan ng bata. Next is developing mastery. So, another set of activity para lalong mamaster ng bata. Bilangin ang mga nakalarawan bagay sa hanay A at itambal ang kop na bilang nito sa hanay B. Isulat ang titik ng tamang sagot. So, yan. So, merong hanay A at hanay B. Hanapin nila yung sagot sa hanay B. So, for G, finding practical application of concept and skills in daily living. So, yan. Another set of activity, bilangin ang mga nakalarawang bagay. So, ayan, may mga set na no? may 100, 5 100, 4 na 10, 5 1. So, ito total ngayon nila yan. Ayan pa yung mga example. Ayan, 
Next is making generalization and abstraction about the lesson. So, tatanong na student, kung may natutunan, how do you visualize numbers from 501 through 1,000? And how, how do you identify the numbers of each set of objects from 501 to 1,000? Next is evaluating learning. So, yan, mat malalaman natin dito kung natutunan ba talaga ng bata yung tinuro mo. So, itala ang kabuan ng mga sumusunod. So, yan yung set ng activity na sasagutan ng bata. And last is the additional activities for enrichment or remediation. So, syempre, related naman sa tinuro mo. Pero, ibang set ng activity. Iguhit ang sumusunod na bilang sa iyong papel, maaaring gumamit ng kahit anong larawan. So, kung kanina, sinusulat nila yung numbers, bibilang nila. So, ngayon, si student, siya naman ang magdodraw. Doon sa tamang number. So, yan. And for remarks and reflection, A, number of learners for application or remediation. B, number of learners who requires additional activities or remediation who scored below 80%. C, did the remedial lesson work? Number of learners who have caught up with the lesson. D, number of learners who continue to require remediation. E, which of the teaching strategies work well? F, what difficulties did I encounter which my principal or supervisor can help me solve? G. What innovation or localized materials did I use or discover which I wish to share with other teachers? So that ends for my sharing of lesson plan in mathematics. So pa, kung bago lang po kayo sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share para po lagi kayong manotify sa mga susunod pang video. Thank you!